So today we are going to put together a homemade camera rig. Uh, got a pretty nice camera to put together. Uh, need a good rig to put it on to get some really good shots and make it nice and stable. However, camera rigs can be quite expensive. And me being the person I am, I like to make a lot of stuff. So today um, it's going to be a little bit of a video I've made most of the parts, um, I will show you most of them, what they are, and then there will be a video which will pretty much be going double the speed. Um, so these are the parts, made these out of some acetal plastic, uh, turned them and then put some grips on it. So you've got something to grip onto. Uh, these are stainless steel and I put a slight bend on them to make them nice and stiff. Uh, I've got my light uh, which goes on to its uh, little bracket there which get a bolt to the top. And then the camera itself which is quite a good looking camera. Uh, it's an Olympus. Um, it's quite big and heavy uh, and obviously it needs a decent strong solid mount for it to sit on so that you can get some really good pictures uh, excuse the mess of my workbench I've got lots and lots of bits and pieces being made uh, including a little diver kind of scenario in a light uh, the foam I've got some foam here which I will sand down and make a little bit cleaner and I've also got some white foam which will stick on to the top. Uh, this will just give it a little bit of buoyancy and take away that negative buoyancy. So um, from here on out there'll be a little bit of music and we'll put her all together. Pretty much put together our camera kit we've got the little GoPro that will sit on top which is incidentally what we're videoing this on we've got some flotation foam which I can sand down and 
make a little bit cleaner, make a little bit tidier, just take the edges off. Those will be glued to there. That will just give it a little tiny bit more positive buoyancy, especially when it comes to having stainless steel here and here, and obviously the weight of the camera as well. These aren't hollow, these are solid. I did that just to make sure that when I'm holding the unit, nothing is flexing, nothing is moving around. Um, so hopefully we shall try it out this weekend and see how it goes. So stay tuned, cat with no tail, and see what they come out like. Thank you for watching, subscribe, smash that like button, and keep watching our dive videos. Um, hope you enjoy them. Thank you.